Hi, Martin here. Today I want to show you guys how to remove the stub shafts from a third member. This particular one came from a 2000 Dodge Durango RT 392 gears. So this third member is going to go into my 01 Dodge Dakota. Currently has 355s in the front. I got 392s in the back. But I got to get this in there and we'll make it full wheel drive again. Um, now, I was having some trouble getting these stub shafts out of here. But I found a cool trick on how to do that. And you can do this with the third member still mounted in the vehicle. This particular one, of course, is out. Um, and I just want to freshen it up, put new seals in it, and then put new gear oil in it before I install it. But you got to get those stub shafts out of there. And uh, I'm going to show you, I think it's a real cool trick. All right, well, let's get started. All right, first we're just going to get this securely mounted in the vise. First thing we got to do is get this retaining clip off of here. And I, I just use a pick and pry it off of there. And be careful when you're pulling these off. Uh, right about the time you get it almost all the way off they like to go flying so be prepared for that here we go all right now here comes the trick to getting the stub shaft out of there one you're going to need a slide hammer this particular one is from uh harbor freight uh I'll provide a link in the description down below, one from through Amazon, and they're basically all the same. Packaged a little different, and they all got the same stuff in them. All right. Now, this is the part that you'll need. This is a OEM tool, the 25190, and it is made to for power steering pump pulleys and like alternators, stuff like that. This particular one is not my favorite puller for pulling uh, power steering pump pulleys. I've got this other one right here. This is actually my favorite one. This is also by OEM Tools. This one works quite well for power steering pump pulleys. But what we've got to do here is we're going to use this one here and we're going to make a little modification to it. Really simple. Now let me pull the jaws off of here and I'll show you what I've done. Okay, here's the two jaws for this. Now, if you look real closely at the very top up here, you're going to see that the one here is a little thinner, right at the very top. Get that. And all I've done is uh, ground this down a little bit, I'm taking a flat disc, and I'll show you that real quick. And what that does, it provides, make that just thin enough to fit in to that slot where you remove the retaining clip. And then with the two jaws on either side, it has a nice tight fit. Now Powerbuilt also makes a very similar tool to this OEM one. And I actually like theirs a little bit better because it has two holes going through the side of the jaws here where you run bolts through and it secures these jaws and makes them really tight onto whatever you're pulling out. That's one thing I really like about theirs a lot better. And uh, I'll provide a link in the description below where you can get that. All right, let's get this thing modded up and get this stub shaft pulled out of here. Okay, I'm just going to use this uh, DeWalt 60 volt angle grinder with a flap disc on it. And we're going to just grind that down a little bit. Then you want to check it every once in a while. Still a little too thick there. Actually, this side here is fitting in the groove pretty nice. like right there Can you see that how nice that fits into the groove 
Yep, there we go. It stays in there all by itself. All right, something I want to show you. A lot of people try to use this method here by taking a screwdriver, placing it in that groove, and then hitting it with a hammer and trying to drive it out. Well, it actually did come out. I tried this before, and I could not get that thing to come out of there. There, it's back in. That's probably because I've actually taken this out a couple times. Yeah, see, I've gotten it to the point where I uh, got it out of there a couple times now. Now it comes out relatively easy. All right, now with these jaws modified to fit the stub shaft, and by the way, you really didn't ruin this tool any for making a pulley puller. It's still going to work as that, just that material just isn't as thick as it used to be. Now go ahead and remove this shaft. Now the one thing about this, this is uh, standard SAE 18 tooth 5 8 diameter shaft. This on the slide hammer is 16 millimeter of uh, 1.5 pitch on the teeth. So it's slightly different, but fortunately this will screw in there about three full th turns. There you go, before it actually tightens up. Now that's more than enough threads in there for what we're going to do. All right, here's one of the tricks I was telling you about to secure this. So we're going to slide that on the stub shaft. Place those on there. Tighten these down as much as you can. And then taking a hose clamp, place it about right there, and then tighten that hose clamp down. All right, now what we've got to do is give this a nice hit, hit, just like that. And that's how easy it came out the first time. There you go. And there you can see the inner retaining clip right there. But, all right, let's do the other side. All right, let's do it with this here slide hammer. I've got that such a nice tight snug fit you might have to tap it in a little bit into that groove. And you see this is where I was talking about the uh, power built one that has bolts that go through here that would help hold that on there nice and tight. You tighten that down and there's no way it's going to pop off of there. There. I definitely like that slide hammer method. Uh, it works one hit every time. I got another axle. Maybe we'll pull the ax uh, stubs out of it real quick. Here's something I want to point out to you. Uh, I've heard people talk about when they're replacing the CV axles that the slot in the CV axle is in the wrong place. But look, this is a 2000. This axle here that I got over here that we're just about to pull the stub shaft out of is an 05. Look where the C uh, clip retainer is, how far deep it is into the stub shaft, where this one is just barely in here, about three eighths of an inch. So that's where the problem is, where people are saying that these aftermarket axles are incorrect. It all depends which year uh, third member you're using. I never noticed it before until just now.
Now I've never pulled this stub sh uh, shaft out of here before, so it'd be the first time on this axle here. All right. This time I'm not going to even put the uh, hose clamp on here. I'm going to just try it without it. All right, here we go. Yep, two hits. I took it out. Not bad. Now, the inner C-clip is located in the same place. So it's just these outer ones that could be in a different location. All right, well, I think this is a cool mod that you can do to this tool and still retain the function of the tool's actual function, you know, to pull uh, power steering pump pulleys off or something. You're not uh, wrecking it in any way, but it certainly works great for pulling these stub shafts out. One, two hits, and it's out of there. I, I love that. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you did, please, I appreciate the thumbs up. And if you've never subscribed to me before, please hit that subscribe button right down there. And that little bell symbol right next to it. That way you get notified the next time I upload a video. And I'll be uh, putting new seals and getting new gear oil put in this thing. And then getting it swapped into my 01 Dakota. Uh, hopefully pretty soon here. All right. And also, check out those Amazon links down in the description where uh, the channel earns a small commission and every little bit helps. I sure appreciate that. Well, thank you for watching and we will see you on the next one.